In this video, we're going to prove that every differentiable function is continuous. The actual statement we will prove is that if we have a function f, which is differentiable at x equals c, then it is continuous at x equals c as well. So proof. So we'll start by assuming that we have uh, differentiability at c. So suppose f is differentiable at x equals c. All right, this means we have a certain limit that exists. So it's the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c all divided by x minus c. Now, in order to give you some direction as to how to prove this, I'm going to write down what we need to show. So we need to show that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to f of c. So if you look at this statement here that we have to prove, and you look at what we have over here, you'll notice that here we have f of x minus f of c. So it might be easier to show the following. So we need to show this. So we need to show, let's rewrite this in a way that matches what we have over here. So we need to show that the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c is equal to zero. So this might be an easier route uh, based off what we have up here uh, with differentiability. So let's, let's prove this. So then the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c, this is equal to the limit as x approaches c. Now here's the trick. We're going to incorporate this. So we already have f of x minus f of c. We already have that here. So we can't get rid of it. So we still have f of x minus f of c. And so we, since we want to incorporate this, we're going to write down x minus c. And then we'll just get rid of it. So now we know that we both the limit as x approaches c of x minus c is equal to zero. The limit of this exists because the function is differentiable. So this will be f prime of c times zero, which is zero. So we've shown that this limit is equal to zero. To finish, we'll take the limit as x approaches c of f of x, and this is equal to the limit as x approaches c. Now we need to incorporate this so we'll write down f of x minus f of c, and then we'll add f of c. Adding zero is a, is a really common um, technique in, in, in calculus proofs. All right, so this is the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c plus the limit as x approaches c of f of c this first limit is 0, we just proved it, and f of c is a constant, so this is just f of c. So this is equal to f of c. So we showed that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to f of c. This is precisely what it means for a function to be continuous at c. And so we're done. So therefore, f is continuous at x equals c. And that is how you prove that if a function is differentiable at a point, it is continuous there.